Hey, it's Original Curly J, and today, hold on, I forgot to get my iPad out. Today we have 20 plus unique and different YouTube video ideas. Now it's come to my attention that a lot of my followers and subscribers here on social media and YouTube are thinking about getting into the content creator community. And while I'm still fresh and brand new and I'm still trying to grow, I see that a lot of people actually looking up to me in that sense. And I am so pleased to be that person for people, but I'm sure that they're not the only ones. So I decided that we're gonna probably do some YouTube related content here and there, maybe like a series. Let me know inside the comments if that's something that you're interested in where i'm giving you guys tips and tricks on how to edit videos do youtube videos banners channel names whatever whatever and so they kick that off because a lot of people are procrastinating and not starting well baby i'm about to give you some youtube video ideas so that way you can stop procrastinating because there's no better time to start than now before we get into this video do not forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to follow me on my social medias for all behind the scenes content and without further ado let's get into these 20 ideas and these aren't super unique youtube video ideas they're just not the generic okay i put a little spin to them a little description yada 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 video idea number one is a chit chat get ready with me these are super fun and entertaining you can even do like a story time while you're getting ready for something catch the audience's attention while also simultaneously doing something for yourself that others are gonna be like oh i like how she does that and i also like what she said next is a skincare routine super super basic yet a lot of people really want to know girl how is your skin so clear next one is a hair care routine similar concept a lot of people are going to be looking at your hair especially if you're doing videos where you're showing your face and they're like oh my gosh i'm loving the way her hair looks girl what products do you use you can make a routine video of what you do to keep maintenance on your hair next is gift idea video this one i look up for every single holiday so i know i'm not the only one and these videos range to thousands and thousands of views because people are always searching for things that they can gift people inside of their lives for certain holidays like their birthday christmas even boo baskets for halloween like what i did on my channel next i recommend for beginners this is what i did for my first video on my youtube channel and that was a q a if you already have a good following on social media such as instagram then i'll go on instagram and create a poll or like a questionnaire on your story and ask people what kind of questions do they have for you next is recipes or trying recipes and that's especially very fun that's because people are always trying to learn how to cook new things and maybe you do things a certain way that other people don't and they might want to use that for their next way of cooking and if you do very popular dishes or you even do the trying new recipes trend where you're going to try new recipes that you got from social media or food network or wherever they can see whether you fail or do great at it and it's just a fun process to watch and they'll even try to probably do it with you alongside of them next is review type video so trying blank for the first time this can be anything this can go for a range of different types of products activities i don't even know but it can go for many different things next is a decorate with me or a decoration haul this just gives inspiration for a certain holiday and if you do a haul and even go as far as to link the items people will find that super helpful and go click on your affiliate link which we'll get into as a different video monthly slash seasonal favorites again i did a video like this my fall favorites and it did really great a lot of people were interested in seeing what is something that i really like during this time of year what that does for people is it inspires them to either try it themselves or make their own video or even suggest something to me that I didn't have inside my video. Next, and if you're good inside of this department, you understand SEO and things like that, then I would do a how to grow on socials video. How to grow on TikTok, how to grow on Instagram, and you can even do a how to grow on YouTube. Now, of course, I would suggest doing a video like that a little further into your journey when you're actually having more engagement, a larger growth. But the how to grow videos are super big because everybody is trying to become a content creator. And there is plenty of room for us to all do it. But there are some people that are having a hard time doing it or getting stuck when it comes to that. So making a video will kind of help them along, especially if you are finding yourself successful in the field. You can share certain things that you do that others can try. Next is a how to edit videos. Again, this goes along with a how to grow on socials, except for this is specifically videos. You can show a how to edit short form content, how to edit long form content, but just a how to edit video is extremely, extremely crucial and will help people along the way 
and it's most likely to be shared and reposted as well. And it can sprout other YouTube videos because a lot of people might have questions inside of your comments that you can actually use to make a whole nother video. Engagement, baby. Next is a lookbook. If you're in the fashion, this is a really good idea because lookbooks can be for different things. You can do seasonal lookbooks. You can do lookbooks for like birthdays, vacations, whatever it may be, because there's gonna be a lot of people doing those same things or wanting to replicate something that you're gonna wear because they actually like the idea. And even if they don't replicate it exactly they're gonna get inspiration and motivation for what kind of outfit they want to put together and especially if you put links inside the description of the things that you wore oh people are gonna eat that up next is organization and cleaning especially if you're doing a before and after people love to see transformation videos so if you're doing something that's gonna be a drastic transformation a lot of people are gonna want to stay to the end to see what ends up happening and people are even gonna go as far as to ask you what kind of products that you're using and then that's when you put the links inside your description because now now they're gonna get motivation to do the same thing and also you're providing them with what they need to do it. Early morning or late night routine. Again, this goes back to the routine. People wanna see how you do things. They also wanna see how you navigate life, how you go about your daily business, how you stay productive. People wanna know these things, especially if they see you posting all this content and staying on top of it. They wanna know how you do it along with everything else inside of your life. Another one is advice or self-help. This is a huge one. A lot of people have podcasts where they are describing things like this, but they charge for it. And baby, you do not need to pay somebody to hear about what you need to do for yourself. There are plenty of free videos on YouTube. And the greatest thing about self-help videos is that anybody can make them even if it's on the same topic that somebody already watched it on. Because the way people talk and describe things is completely different. So I could watch five different videos talking about how to stay productive. And each one is gonna give me different outlooks, different tips, and even give me a different perspective on how that other person deals with it. So at the end of the day, yes, they all fall inside the same category, but they're different videos, which means that there is plenty of different people that can make these kind of videos. And along with that is how to videos, like how I balance a nine to five with content creation, how to become a content creator, how to plan and schedule content, how to start a business. So many different subcategories when it comes to how to, and it can fit into your niche however you go about it. Next is essentials for blank, like essentials for traveling, essentials for school, essentials for work, essentials for your car, essentials for content creating. There are so many different pillars under essentials for different categories of what essentials can be for what. Next is how I got from blank to blank. And this could be with like weight loss journeys, body recomposition, how you went from bad skin to clear skin, how you went from dry and crusty hair to beautiful, luscious, healthy hair. There are so many how to blank to blank. Travel vlogs. Now vlogging, I wouldn't recommend doing until you're a little deeper into your journey, I guess is the word. But if that's gonna be your niche strictly is like traveling and traveling to different places and where to travel, then I would just start right out with that. And when you're doing a traveling vlog, make sure you include details of where it is that you went. Pricing, if you can find a website, maybe the website to the hotel that you stayed at or the restaurant that you tried. Whatever you can, that way people can try to go to that same place because they're gonna wanna go especially if you make it look fun and exciting. Makeup tutorials. Now for someone like me who knows nothing about makeup, I love watching me a makeup tutorial. It's something about seeing the process and it's again, the before and after of something and seeing people's techniques, how they get to a certain finished product. And if they're trying to replicate it themselves, again, putting links to the products that you use or even just showing the products that you use inside of your videos, showing the techniques that you use that way that while they're doing it, they're also watching your video to try to replicate it. Along the same lines is hair tutorial. Again, same thing you can explain how you're doing something put details inside of your description with links and lastly is fashion tips again if you're really into fashion you can do a how to dress certain styles like streetwear or fancy or casual you can do fashion tips on how to budget your spending when it comes to fashion and you can even go as far as to do a how to dress a certain body type this is super helpful because there are some people including myself that are not really sure of how to dress their body type because of social media and what is normal and they're comparing themselves to unrealistic body types that is just not them. So they're trying to dress like those body types with clothes are not fitting the way that they want them to. So doing a how to dress certain body type would actually be a great video. And that is all y'all. Whew. 
that was a lot, I know. But we got through it, didn't we? And now that you have 20 plus ideas, I don't think you need to wait a second longer to start your YouTube channel. Even if that means starting with YouTube shorts just to begin. Do something, start, why are you waiting? What are you waiting for? But all jokes aside, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm so glad to be back. And follow me on my socials once again. And I'll see you guys next time, bye.